Welcome back everybody to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing the last few days. You know, um, unfortunately with the WWE releases and with the podcast with Felix, we went over the releases again and the in a lot of topics and a lot of stuff. Two hour two plus hour podcast. Go ahead and check that out if you have free time. I know college football is today it is about 11 right now when i'm recording this so a little late but it is what it is um colton's record is 22 and 13 and mine is 27 and 8 i was i was nine and one last week you imagine how much money i would have made if i would bet last week but i took a week off and i'm back this week um, but we've got 11 games on tap. Ruggers at number two, Michigan. I know this is a no-brainer, but I, I, I throw some no-brainers in here. Um, we both got Michigan. He got him 42 to 10. I got 38, 24. Now, I think it's going to be closer than what people think because I have, Ruggers is one of those teams that has just gotten better and I think they're undefeated. So, Watch out, might be a close game. Number three, Florida State at Clemson. This is an interesting one. Clemson's looked good since they've uh, lost from week one. Um, Colton's got Florida State 28-21. I got the Knowles 28-27. I think it'll be a very close one in Death Valley. Number 16, Oklahoma at Cincinnati. Colton got the Sooners 31-20. I got him 34-21. Auburn at Texas A&M. This is going to be big for Auburn because I don't know what to think about Auburn because they barely beat California. And, look, I know how California is in football. They're very iffy most of the time. So, I don't know. Auburn undefeated Texas A&M. First, it's at Texas A&M, and that's why I've got the Aggies 27-22, and he's got them 24-21. Number 17, Old Miss at 13, Alabama. I wanted to pick Old Miss, but I just can't. I think Nick Saban will get the get those boys at least back to the winning ways. 34-31 Alabama, and Colton's got Alabama 31-28. We both think it's going to be close. I think Ole Miss got a chance, but uh, not 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 today. Not today, Lane Kiffin. Lane Train going to be derailed once again from Nick Saban. Number 22, UCLA. I think UCLA should be ranked higher, but it is what it is. At number 11, Utah. Will they prove that 22 ranking should be a little bit higher? We'll see. I do not think so. Not today. Utah 38 to 30, and Colton's got him 35 21. I think it's going to be a like touchdown esque <clears throat> game. Number 14, Oregon State at number 21, Washington State. Washington State, man, is a very, very good team. And I got them beating Oregon State at home, 38-34. Colton got Oregon State, 31-24. This game could go either way. We'll see what type of team Oregon State is. This is the highest they've been ranked. DJ, um, DJ being the new quarterback, we'll see how he is on the road against Washington State. I wanted to pick Oregon State, but I think Washington State got him, man. Number 25, Iowa at number 7, Penn State. Watch out for Iowa. I'm just going to say this. I got 27 to 16, Penn State, in a close one. I think they'll, like, kick a field goal or score a touchdown late to put it away. Um, and Colton's got him 45 to 28. Only reason I say watch out is I was got a former Michigan quarterback, so it's not like they don't have a decent quarterback. So the ninth game, Memphis at Missouri, both teams undefeated. Um, we both got Missouri though, twenty four seventeen for Colton and twenty seven 
to 20 for me. Okay, for me, this is probably the two best games of the week, hype-wise, game-wise, and everything. Um, and, of course, I'm going to talk about this one first. Number six, Ohio State at number nine, Notre Dame. Probably the game of the week. It's at college game day. Um, <clears throat> Colton's got the Buck guys 28 to 27. We both got this very close. But I think Notre Dame wins at home against Ohio State 31 to 30. I think it's going to be a close one, but... People really underestimate Notre Dame, and I don't think they should because they got that quarterback from Wake Forest, Hartman, and he has done very, very good. And then the last game, of course, we've got the Deion Sanders hype train with Colorado, number 19 Colorado at my number 10 Oregon Ducks. Now look, <clears throat> it's kind of disrespectful and I get it because this is this is what I'm going to talk about. And people are not going to like it. I love Dion, But it's going to sound like I'm hating with this. Dion does not have his lineman yet at Colorado. Skill players, cool. Yes, he does have them. Travis Hunter being out is going to hurt. But I'll say this. Even with Travis Hunter on the field, Oregon wins this. Um... In a high-scoring game, but they win this no matter what. Now, Colton got Oregon winning 42-21. to 21. It is a 21-point spread. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if they do that. My score says they do because I have a feeling that all week they've heard about this Colorado hot train, and, man, I think they're just going to come out and put a hell of a lot of points on Colorado. Now, Colorado going to score on us, too. But I got Oregon 55-31. to 31. If Colorado State can score 40-plus on that Colorado defense, we should be able to score 50 points on them. That's how I feel. Um, Dion done a hell of a job at Colorado, but he's still probably a year to two years out from being very, very, very good. That's just my opinion. Because he's got to get Lyman in there first. And I think that's where we overtake Colorado today. So if you enjoyed college football week four predictions, please hit that like button for me. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for NFL week three predictions. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy college football Saturday, man.